Welcome, welcome family. I don't know it is again on Dr. Cookie, real chatterbox. Out there again on that one. You understand what I say? Thank you for keeping showing guys. I don't know. And we have one next one up on the president, you know. You understand what I say? The prime minister, you know. I'm bullshit. You understand what I say? I mean, I mean, I believe nothing will come out of my mouth. You understand me? You yeah, come telling me, say, it take you so long to address this thing. Because you have to get your facts right. And because we're going to have to hide and cover on the chairs and chucks. You understand me? I say, that's why. That's the reason why you come out so late. You understand me? You can't fool nobody. You understand me? I come from. And Jamaica can't even make me going to get fooled by this idiot. Up on the mic. You understand me? I say, listen to him. There was this query as to why I didn't jump out with a statement immediately. It's simply because I have a duty that when I speak, the information that I provide must be unassailable. And that means you have to take time to verify what we saw in the interim, that some persons had a field day with misinformation. And I wonder what was the motive for that. It was almost gleeful celebration. The Prime Minister, like his Finance Minister, Dr. Nigel Clark, is adamant that those who are implicated in the fraud case must be brought to book. He says an example must be set that crimes of this nature are not accepted in the country. The government will not socialize any debt and we will not socialize the failure of our banks to be prudential and to protect their customers. Were we to do that, it would send a very bad signal to the banks and investment houses that they can be negligent and expect the bank to cover their negligence. That will not happen. Oh, all the money will move around without you not knowing what's going on. And all the people that are in SSL, you come to people and tell them that now. There's a lot of lies you got to them covering up all the wrongdoings that you're not doing. You understand what I mean? Because in the sector, or a common person is misinformed and uh, consumes information that is incorrect, information that is false and misleading, it could impact the way in which economic actors make their financial decisions and create a crisis that does not need to exist. Now, were it only a political market at risk, I would brush it aside and say, par for the course. But there is our national asset at risk by this kind of behavior. Our financial market is a regional leader. It gives Jamaica competitive advantage, and we must protect it at all costs. Well, there is nothing to protect, Prime Minister. You understand what I mean, sir? Because of the corruption on our dealing out there. First, when I say, you see him, well, do not have no account in SSL. You understand what I mean, sir? So, how can a man be investing his money and don't know where he's putting it? You come and tell me that now. You understand where I come from? All the people them, who are in a power in SSL. Them is the one that sign out the man money and I try to blame it upon other people. That's how I see it clearly with my own eyes. You understand me? And I hope the Jamaican people them, and Ocean Bolt and all the people who lose their money can see. You understand me? The chain we are put to them. Lie, thief, and wicked. You can't expect people to believe you after you take two weeks nearly to come out and address the situation with the people and money missing. You understand what I mean? I say, things are sweep on a carpet, people are hide, money are put at places where nobody can find it. You understand what I mean? I deal with it and find some scapegoat. That is what Uno was doing in that time. You understand me? Appearing in a statement to come out and say to the people to blindside me again. Understand me, but we're not taking it no more. 
we're not going to take it no more. You understand me as a prime minister? So watch out for me. Dr. Cookie, real chatterbox. Love that one more time.